My name is Nicole, I am 37 years old and I am from Chatham. So I started my hospital tutoring program back in the summer of 2014. Um, in 2013, in December, I had cervical surgery. And after that surgery, I was out of school for a couple months and I was kind of losing my mind. I'm someone who needs to be up and going and can't just sit still. And one of my good friends said to me, have you looked into online education and maybe you could do some tutoring online while you're sitting home? And so as I started investigating it more and more, I saw more and more about online schools and online programs that could actually teach children. She loves education, she loves learning. Whatever's gonna further her, she will do. So I use a couple different programs. Um, one is Google Expeditions, which is a program where once you have your laptop, you can, they have over 200 expeditions that they've put together. So say for instance, I wanna take students to Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. I just download that program and then the students will put on goggles to wear, and then I can see on my laptop and take them to all the different locations at Ellis Island. But for history, it's cool because it's like a lot of times when we're talking about things in the past, you know, it doesn't necessarily make sense to them. So when you can make it more real to them, especially for students who cannot go and visit these locations, um, it just makes the whole experience and makes history come alive in a sense. I think with her teaching at an all-girls school, she inspires them that they can do whatever they want to do. They don't have to go with the stereotypes of what people think women should do. She teaches them that and their education, and she shows them that they can further themselves more than just what people think that they should do. In the last six years, I've had to have three surgeries. Um, this last January was probably like the biggest of all the surgeries I've had to have. It kept me out of school the longest um, amount of time. And basically I had to have brain surgery in January. I'm used to helping people, so when you actually need the help, um, that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. She's always going to be there for that person who's in need because it's just something, she just, it's what she does. She'll give her time to give back to those who need it. Since we were young, we watched our grandparents, our parents, our aunts. Uh, community service was always a big thing. And I think um, we were kind of just raised with the idea of helping people until there's no one left to help and you know, doing good until there's no good left to do. She's my rock star because she's always there for me. Doesn't matter what time it is, she will be there for you. And she, when I was sick, she was always visiting me in the hospital. Countless times that they all missed out on holidays, Christmas, because I was in the hospital and she was there. Not once did she complain. You know, it's because she did see me in the hospital and sick all the time, and I just feel like that makes her my rock star because she's giving back to those kids who were sick just like me. 